Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have another one that proves what the Eminem quote stands have been saying all along about rap Elvis. As from the get-go, while many hip-hop fans and rappers pointed out that Benzino never rapped like he did on rap Elvis, that kick-started the Ghost Rider's allegations that were later confirmed by the man himself, others also pointed out the number of factual errors on the song, like Eminem dissing pop stars like Elton John, Say what now? But personally, my favorite error was when Benzino rapped about how he's been minding his business until Eminem dropped Doomsday Part 2 and that Eminem's clout chasing him and Coyle Ray and those who've been following the story before the diss tracks were like, Say what now? But those who didn't know better thought Benzino was spitting some facts. But so far, the holes in rap Elvis have been getting wider by the day. From Icewear Vizzo shutting it down, Cash is putting out a warning on Femzino, and today we got another one that's brought out the salt online. Those in Benzino's corner aren't taking it well, as Conway the Machine recently shut it down on social media, and Benzino just can't stop lying as he has since reacted, and at the latter part of the video will also be be exploring Benzino's argument for why Eminem steals sales from other black rappers, and we'll get to this later. So starting with Conway, just like Icewear Vizzo, Cassius and Marv One, he didn't appreciate Benzino's name drop on Rap Elvis when Benzino included his name in the bars about why Shady records his trash when he rapped. So let's go down your stable, gun left your label. Manny left your label, Khan left your label, Royce left your label. The Ghost Riders didn't put enough effort because they'd know that there's no bad blood in here. Even Joe Budden, who has a history of falling out with everyone, including Jay-Z, didn't appreciate the name drop. And Conway came forward with this response a few hours ago. I just wanted to speak on a few things. I heard the Benzino joint and I just need to clear this up for everybody. One, I didn't leave Shady Records. Also, I never wanted to leave the label. My contracts were simply fulfilled. Two, and most importantly, I F with Eminem, Rosenberg, Mike, Shady Records, 50 Cent, and I could never feel any ill feelings towards M and them dudes. They gave some 35-year-old street dudes from Buffalo that's been shot in the head and did jail sentences a chance and an opportunity to make it out the hood and take care of my family. So I'm forever thankful for those. So with that being said, if you're having feelings or whatever towards bra, leave me out of it, please, because I'm always gonna ride with big bro, shrugs emoji. And all these reactions so far from those who were name dropped on rap Elvis is why I find it hilarious that some people believe the lyrics were hard hitting. Because if the ghost writers did their research, we wouldn't be getting this type of reception from Eminem former associates that were name dropped. For instance, a former Eminem associate who would have supported a name drop on rap Elvis would be Aziz or the dude who got kicked out from D12. Even Joe Budden, who's been salty about Eminem didn't appreciate the name drop, but the Ghost Riders didn't do their homework. And Conway's response has stirred reactions like another hole in the ghost written balloon, laughing emojis. It is almost like Benzino put out two separate diss songs and didn't say anything remotely truthful and indisputably factual on any of them, laughing emojis. On this note, damn near everything Benzino said in the diss is losing its potency. Even the casuals are already catching up to the facts that we knew all along. It is just that people got excited because someone was dissing Eminem, they missed all the factual errors and were also deep in denial initially when the Ghost Rider's allegations started swimming to the top. And Benzino's supporters are seething right now in response to Conway. Of course, they have to run to M's rescue. This is unnecessary. And to this, a user reacted. Apparently, addressing false information is rescuing, laughing, and clown emojis. And Benzino has reportedly responded to Conway on social media. He shared this. Nothing but love, bro. Gotta respect loyalty. I bang your ish constantly. It is a battle, bro. But he shot first and the coy line was unnecessary. So I'm gonna finish him. It is great for hip hop. Because he's broke. Oh yeah, I called you for some money. I made you, you didn't make me. Great for your pockets. 
First of all, as you see, Benzino can't stop lying. He's literally been on a press run to discredit Eminem since the Rock Hall nomination. Kylo Ray was also on Matt Hoffer talking about an Eminem feature, which she'd only agree to if Benzino approves. Everyone who was informed knew Doomsday Part 2 was literally a response to Benzino's press run all decade, and it is cute seeing Benzino play the victim with Kylo Ray over a feature bar when he literally threatened a seven-year old girl on his diss tracks, which reminds me King Los chose to lose credibility over this man. Perhaps someone should have asked Los to blink twice if he was in danger during that interview with Three Letter Man. And moving on, we have more from Benzino, as during his interview on diverse mentality, he was confronted with facts that go against his narrative that Eminem steals sales from other black rappers. Every time Eminem, so this is the stat I ran into, every time, every year that Eminem dropped an album, Everyone that year sold more as well. So really? I, yeah, I actually found this. When you say everybody, like everybody, Ev of course, of course that you're, you're going to bring some that yeah. that would probably wouldn't come, but the majority is going to split apart because look at, look at the fans, the fans that he got right. The fans, yeah, look, I don't, look I'm at not the a fans. Fan. I'm not a when you look at their mentality, they don't have a diverse mentality. There you go, that was a perfect, perfect, yeah. Yeah. They don't. This part of the interview was a letdown since the interviewer literally had some facts to back up his points, only for the interviewer to agree with Benzino's ramblings, like why agree with that opinion when you have opposing facts in hand. But hey, Benzino believes that just by association, Royce should be able to sell like Eminem, and because he doesn't, then Eminem fans must be racist. If they did, then everybody would be fucking um, selling mm -hmm. at a higher... Yeah, yeah, you're right. right. I know Royce hates this, but Royce and Eminem put out Bad Meets Bad Evil. Evil. Yep, 2011. Yep. About two months later, Royce put out his album, right? It did sold nothing. So that's a good example. So how do you have five hundred thousand? Yeah. You bought of this, and then two months later, he's only selling ten thousand. Yeah. Like, that means that four hundred ninety white people did not buy Royce's album. Funny because Fifty Cent, another Eminem associate, just recently. Not 20 years ago, no, recently, did a final lap tour that sold over 1 million tickets in just days all across Europe, sold out some of the biggest arenas in Europe. So you see, the facts show that perhaps it had more to do with what Royce could do with the Eminem exposure than it had anything to do with that blanket statement about the fan base. No one thinks signing to Jay-Z means you are entitled to or get to inherit Jay's fan base, or Nas or Kanye, but for Eminem, we begin to entertain such delusional discussions. And a while back, we covered a story of 50 Cent crediting his touring success to his association with Dre and Eminem, and this was the tour before the Final Lap tour. I attribute that to also being connected to the three-headed monster. It's also Eminem and Dr. Dre. Right. You sounds like people forget. They forget what it really, really is. Big. Like, look at this. Our culture, when you, when you see new artists, you see them with these Lamborghinis, these Rolls Royces and Bentleys and stuff like that. Hip hop was not earning that kind of money. Mm -hmm. It right. grew to a point that it's earning that kind of money now. But no, the people buying the records and tickets must be racist because they only support Eminem. And I'll be looking forward to your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.